Hey everyone, this is Megha and I'm a watercolor artist based in Bangalore, India. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have something fun for you. If you ever feel out of inspiration, you don't know what to paint, then I have a fun idea for you. Let's step outside, collect a few leaves and start painting them. All right, so here I am in my mom's garden and I'm picking up a few leaves with permission, of course. So you can easily do this if you have a garden or you can go ahead and do this outdoors but be careful uh, you should have a little bit knowledge that you are picking up the right plants that means that they are not poisonous or something so just go ahead and collect since this is a home garden and my mom knows about all the plants so that's why i'm just freely picking up different types of leaves different shapes different formats and just like this collecting a few if you are a beginner or if you just want to practice or just want to do something creative you can collect five to ten different types of leaves and then just use them as an inspiration to paint so i have collected here i think 10 leaves which are all different different types so we'll just go ahead and start painting these all right so here i have my round brush i have my green colors and I have my 100% watercolor paper and all the leaves that we collected before. So I will just be using mostly the same green with a little bit of variation. And we will start with this round leaf. So remember that I'm not going to paint very realistic or very detailed kind of a leaf. This is just a very loose inspiration. So we'll just copy the shape and the little bit of color how the veins are going so very very simple so you can just enjoy the whole process just observe your leaf carefully first what shape it is and then if you are very keen on matching the colors then try to make a green by green darker by adding a little blue or making the green lighter by adding yellow and then that way you can create your own different shades of green So after that one which was almost like a round shape now we are doing this one which is very thin at the tip and very thin at the bottom so that's a very typical typical kind of a leaf shape, leaf shape so I'm just using my round brush and then I'm just using the tip first then pressing the brush a little bit and using the belly of the brush to create the broad part in the center and then again gently lifting up the brush to create that fine point again so you can see that in the first one we use the tip of the brush a lot to create that shape and this was mostly like a single stroke that means we painted the whole leaf in one stroke we started with the tip then we used the belly and then we ended it with the tip okay so let's move on to this third one as you can see this is very very different from the first two so when you pick up these leaves and try to paint them with inspiration then you learn lots of different techniques on your own so in this one all these different single single leaves i am doing with one stroke of the brush and then when it is combined you can see how different the leaf looks so this way you will learn lots of techniques on your own so you don't have to go ahead and copy somebody whom you just saw on the internet or you don't have to just google and uh, copy somebody else's paintings or somebody uh, or the leaves that they are showing so you don't have to do that you can pick up your own leaves and just get inspired with them and practice on your own now let's do this fourth one which is again very different there are mini mini leaves on one stem and they are kind of round in shape so let's go ahead and start painting these now so i did the stem using the tip of the brush and then 
I'll be pressing the brush a little bit to get these round shaped leaves and then using the tip to create the top part so tiny round round leaves and you can see that on the stem they are in pairs so we'll just replicate whatever we see here and later on once these are dry so this is the first layer once this layer is dry we can come back to it and add a little bit of highlight like the veins and all not too much detailing as i said that these are just for practice and for inspiration so we are not doing any detailing these will be very light and loose style and once you do all these then you also get an idea of how many different types of leaves you can do so whenever you are painting your own floral illustrations you can just add any of these as your filler leaves okay so this one is again on one stem there are lots of tiny leaves so this one is even tinier than the one we did before so I have just done two stems and then I'm just using the tip of the brush and painting this mini tiny leaves again they are on both the sides they are in pairs so we'll just use the same technique and paint this one okay let's move on to the next one and this is again very very different so this is a portulaca i don't know the names of all of these here but yeah this one is portulaca or the office time so as you can see the leaves are very very thin and they are like on all the sides of the stem so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just using the tip of the brush and then painting lots of random thin and long leaves all along so first we'll just paint on both sides of the leaves and then we'll start taking out more so that it looks like it has to look like the leaves are on all sides of the stem and not just flat and two sides so just like this already you have seen that we have painted six very very different types of leaves so i hope you are enjoying this with me till now and if you want to learn watercolor in depth if you want to do more watercolor painting you can check out my skillshare classes which i have linked below and i also have my courses on udemy so you can check that out as well everything is linked below and if you are a beginner i have tons of free guides which i have linked again in the description so you can check them out you can just uh, go ahead and download them and there's tons of useful information about watercolors in them so since this paper is full and these leaves are dry i'm just adding a little bit of veins on the leaves that we have already done as i said we are not detailing them too much so i'm just using the tip of the brush resting my hand firmly and creating very very thin lines as veins for all of these Okay, so now let's start with the round two of our leaves so we have four more left and here is a leaf which is like a clover a heart shaped one so this is again very very different and i can see three mini hearts on this leaf so that's what we are going to do i'm lightening the color a little bit 
and then we'll go just go ahead use the tip of the brush and paint little little heart shapes three of them alongside to create this leaf So you can see this looks too cute like if you want to do all this with your imagination it's very very hard but if you get a little inspiration then you can come up with your own illustrations you can come up with your own paintings. So this one here is a very fresh and new leaf of a rose and I have added lot of lots of yellow in here to make it very very light green and again I am using the tip of the brush and since this is very thin and long so I am doing it in two strokes and painting the same leaf again these leaves are in pairs so this is a very typical rose leaf I am just avoiding the sides the the edge of the leaf the rugged edge of the rose leaf and just painting simple and plain as i said before that it's very loose style so yeah we are just done with it now and let's move on to this one again this is leaves on both the sides of the stem but this one is slightly different because the leaves are alternate they are not in pairs so you can see how different this one is so that's a lovely variation to the leaves that you can do so i painted the stem using the tip and then i'm just painting the second one a little bit up and that's the pattern we'll follow then again a little bit up not at the same point so like this so this is again very very different Alright, so this brings us to the last leaf that we have here and I'm just using a little bit of brown because this the stem for this one is brownish. So I'm brownish or reddish kind of a color. So I'm just using the brown because I have it out on my palette. And again, the leaves are only on the top part and they are in pairs and they are not that huge. So I'll just start and follow what I can see. So I'm using the tip of the brush, pressing it a little because the leaves are slightly broad in the center. So that is what I'm going to replicate.
and so that's it we are done with today's video and i hope you enjoyed the technique and the idea that we tried here so whenever you are feeling out of inspiration you can just go out in your garden or just go out and collect a few leaves and flowers you can also pick them up from the ground if they are fallen so in spirit in nature inspiration is everywhere that's the best part about nature and i hope that you got a lot of inspiration today and then just this is just a very relaxing painting idea that you can do even you can paint outdoors that would be even more fun if the weather permits it so do give this a try and then share it with me you can tag me on all, any social media with the same name which is by the art bug and i'm just adding a little bit of veins in all of these to just finish this up Alright, so here are all the leaves and you can see how different they look and how much variety is there in these and just imagine you can use this all in your floral illustration maybe next time or a little bit later we can try something like that we can paint some flowers also like this and then we can combine these both and do a beautiful floral illustration if you like that idea let me know in the comments and if you have liked my video don't forget to hit the subscribe button i post new videos every friday and don't forget to check out the free resources and the free classes which i have linked below in the description so that's all for today from my side and do give them a try i will see you next friday till then bye bye and happy painting